Good morning, Whalers, and welcome to the WCPS News Network. My name is Marina Casano. And my name is Mr. G. Today is Friday, June 16th, and it is a day three. And there are only four more days of school left. Woo, 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 woo! Today's broadcast being brought to you by our good friends at the Dreamland Theater. The Nantucket Dreamland is a nonprofit organization dedicated to enriching the cultural and intellectual life of Nantucket by providing year-round films, educational programs, and a venue for community activities that engage Nantucket in the evolving world of entertainment and education. Today's lunch will be a classic cheese pizza. For weather, we are going to see wind driven by rain showers in the morning with scattered thunderstorms arriving in the afternoon. Storms may contain strong gusty winds. We should see a high temperature of 71 degrees. We want to congratulate Ms. Cuts and all the chorus students who performed Wednesday night. You guys crushed it. Okay, students age 12 and up are invited to participate in the upcoming Dream Teens production of Working the Musical. If you're an actor, writer, or singer, or want to become one, don't miss this opportunity to participate in the Dreamland Stage Company production, which is offered free of charge this summer. Perform with a live band, work with the community, and have a great summer with the Nantucket Dreamland. Oh, visit dreamlandstagecompany.org for more information and to register for this program. With only four days left to school, there are a number of changes to our daily schedules. Starting with today, which is Jump Up Day, this will be an opportunity for all of you to go meet your, ne your teachers for the next year and get an idea of what you can expect as you advance to the next grade. The next week we'll be having our annual field days with 6th and 8th grade happening Tuesday and 7th grade on Wednesday. Also Wednesday, the 8th graders will be practicing for their promotion with the actual ceremony taking place on Thursday at 9.30 a.m. Okay, in other news, the Dreamland the drive-in is back for its third summer. Join the crew at 7 Nobodier Farm Road every Wednesday through Saturday for a classic and family cinema under the stars with titles coming up including The Wizard of Oz, Jumanji, Madagascar, Shrek, and The Lego Movie. The drive-in is fun for the whole family. Today is National Wear Blue Day as part of the campaign that includes Men's Health Month and Men's Health Week in June. Wear Blue Day encourages us to take stock of our health choices and become more aware of health risks. Men are more likely to skip health checkups than women. Wow. Great yeah, job. Not good. At the same time, they're more likely to take chances with their health choices. The three leading causes of death for men, or for men, according to the Center of Disease Control, are cancer, heart disease, and accidents. The Wear Blue campaign provides an opportunity for employees, employers, communities, and other organizations to hold events to raise awareness about concerns surrounding men's health and how they can change the day, cha take charge. The day is also a way for loved ones to show their encouragement for men in their lives. Yeah, take care of yourselves, men. Before we log off, I'd like to take a moment to give a huge shout out to all of my WCPS news crew. You guys have been amazing all year long. I first want to thank my eighth graders, including the uh, Clat twins, Ashley and Katie, Priscilla Graham, CJ Clark, Chelsea Gross, Shelby Harriman, Michael Travaglione, and this one, Marina Cassano. My 7th graders were Olivia Saban and Brandon Knight. My 6th grade girls, Rowan Paul, Grace Schroeder, and Madison Bolter. You guys all crushed it. Huge thanks needs to go out to all of our sponsors. And finally, I want to thank all of the CPS faculty and administration for supporting us all year long. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for our news and our last broadcast of the year. Make it a great day. Take care of yourselves and each other. And, and most, most importantly, importantly be, be kind to one another. Woo! School's over. Woo! It's been like four days.